feel like it's at least once a month at this point that I find myself going down the rabbit hole of childhood TV shows with my Twitch chat, and we bond over all of our favorite and most hated shows as a kid. Uh, so I thought, why not fucking put him into a tier list? Why don't we together figure out what was the overall most goaded TV show and what were some of the not so hot ones that maybe we liked as a kid, but turns out that they're a little bit problematic, Veggie Tales. Um, <laughs> and hey, let me know what your favorite one is below. Maybe what, which one did I fucking put down low that you really think should have been up higher and you're mad at me now and you can no longer watch and you're unsubbed. Let me know of your grievances. And if you like the content, please hit the like button. I appreciate it a lot. If you're not subbed already, the fuck are you doing, man? I'll see you tomorrow with another good video. The way that this works is, it's not that I wasn't prepared going into this. I think that there are just far too many shows to, to, to make a tier list about. I looked up tier lists for a very long time this morning, and I just couldn't find one that didn't have, that didn't lack a bunch of shows. I found this website is called Capwing that essentially allows me to drag in any image that we can find. So for instance, I looked up Danny Phantom. It's just here now yes, and it's great. And then I just resize it down and look, now we got Danny Phantom in the S tier where it belongs. Does anyone disagree that Danny Phantom should be in the S tier? No. I don't think that you do. And if you do, fuck you. So <laughs> Danny Phantom should not go anywhere else other than the S tier. It is a perfect show. And if you don't know how much I liked Danny Phantom as a kid, wow. boom! <laughs> so essentially what we're gonna be doing today is we're just gonna be, it, 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 we're gonna throw out a show in chat. If a lot of people are talking about it, then I'll try to find some sort of a thing for it to represent it. We'll talk about it, we'll go over it, we'll argue about it, uh, you'll all be wrong, I'll all be right. If you guys really, really wanna talk about a show that I don't know about, I'm gonna let you vote on it. I'm gonna let you guys put it where you think that it should go. All right, I got one more show that I did look up this morning, if you can't tell in my search bar up there. Where do you guys think Ben 10 was? I, I very, very, very much liked Ben 10. I will say though, I'm only remembering the good stuff of the old Ben 10. Ben 10,000 and all the future ones, and I know there's like a different one now. I don't fucking know. Those things I don't care about. I'm talking about classic Ben 10. And I definitely think I would rate it highly. It's it's definitely B or A for me, not S tier. Classic is a high A. You think so? You think low A, high A? All right. I see a lot of people saying A. I'm down to drop Ben 10 into A. Dude, I really liked Fairly Odd Parents, but I liked Fairly Odd Parents because there was a lot. Like it wasn't, it didn't just feel like every episode had the same tone. Like you were watching, this is an action adventure show. This is a, this is a, a comedy built show. It, it felt like this was a, it felt like it had a plethora of content. Early Odd Parents like SpongeBob, really good early, and then it falls off. I don't remember a lot of like the actual storyline. I just remember that any time that Fairly Odd Parents was on, that I would want to watch it. Ben 10 and Fairly Odd Parents were in the are, are right next to each other for me. So if I gotta put one in A, I gotta put the other one in A, and that that might be a controversial take. But if, if you consider it in B, I would also say that it's in B. But if you consider it in A, I would also say that it's in A. That's my personal opinion. <clears throat> and now because we went over fairly odd parents i think it's only pair only, only fair <clears throat> only pair only fair that we talk about its kind of counterpart little jimmy neutron now here's my hot take this is this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna piss so many people off i think that jimmy neutron was d tier what what the f let me explain it was in like third maybe fifth grade i don't know somewhere in those early years where jimmy neutron was at the peak of my age group we watched uh, two things. We watched a, a movie. I think it was like, I don't remember what movie it was, but it was a movie where it had a bunch of fake science that kind of made sense. And then it also, we watched an episode or two of Jimmy Neutron. And we compared what had really good science and what had really bad science. And Jimmy Neutron was by far the fucking worst. Every single word that come out of comes out of any character's mouth that tries to sound correct. Like, what do we dog on right now? What are some shows that we dog on right now? NCIS, when they're doing the hacking scene, I gotta reroute their USB to their Wi-Fi manuals, right? That was literally all Jimmy Neutron. Go back and watch it. That's all that it was. We gotta reroute the polarity of Goddard's cock. Like, it's it, that's all that it was, man. And so as soon as I was clued into that as a kid, 
that it was all terrible, I couldn't watch it anymore. I liked a lot of the jokes, but I fucking hated the show after that. There's a lot of people in chat that are Sheen gang, and then the no one's no one's medium on Sheen. Everyone's either Sheen is S tier character or Sheen is a dog shit annoying piece of shit. <laughs> let's go Avatar. Yeah, let's go Avatar: The Last Airbender. It's the easiest S tier. I don't think I, I'm, I'm not even gonna look at chat. It's, it's there's there's never been an easier S tier. Put him above S tier. I'll put him in S tier, but he's like hanging off of it. Does that work? How about that? You guys like that? <laughs> it's it's are you as good as Avatar? Ooh, I saw a good one in chat. And it, oh my God, it's because I was looking up, looking up Teen Titans <laughs> and there is, oh man, there's a lot of, there's a lot of dangerous stuff when you look up Teen Titans. I think the Teen Titans, obviously we're talking about first, we're going to talk about Teen Titans. We're going to put old Teen Titans in S tier. And then we're going to take this image again. We're going to put it in the bottom of F tier all the way over here, hanging off because it's coming out the butt. No one wants it anymore. It's all the way down here under me. You guys don't even need to see it. It's not made for us though. As a child, I hated Teen Titans Go. And, and and let me let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's a good take. I'm gonna say a take, and then everyone's gonna agree with me. I got the Frost Prime microphone. Look, it's got a little, you see it? It's got a little, it's got a little FP on it. It's Frost Prime. Here's the take. If Teen Titans had never existed and Teen Titans Go came out it would have been a like a high B, A tier show. But because of the fact that a lot of us grew up watching the actual Teen Titans, and then Teen Titans Go came out and shat all over everything that we loved, that's why it's so bad. There's a twerking scene. I take it all back. <laughs> all right, next show, next show, next show. One that's been talked about a bunch. One that's been talked about a bunch, so we might as well just cover it right now. Codename Kids Next Door. Let me find an image for it. I started, I feel like this show came out when I was at an age where I was still too young to watch anything scary. The first episode I watched of Codename Kids Next Door was the episode where they got like the brain worm, where the like the person was like putting fucking worm devices into their brains and like sucking them off. Scared the shit out of me. I, I had a hard time watching the show ever since then. This is going to be the first show that I am going to allow chat to take over with voting on because I feel like I would just rate this in an F tier because it scarred me as a child. All right. It's, that's, a heavy, that's, a, that's a heavy margin in the A tier. I trust you guys. Now, here's a hot take. Here's, a, here's the hottest take of the day. You ready for this hot take? You ready, you ready for the hot take, chat? I just love watching guys squirm. I agree. It's just S tier. It's a good, it's a fucking good show. It's not better than Avatar though. I uh, just, I, <laughs> uh, dude, Ed and Eddie was a classic, man. I, and Ed and Eddie still holds up. That's the way that it works. Like I, I actually oh, disgustingly hated the show because of how scary it was. But I feel like it was still probably S tier. You think, wait, you think it's B? You guys get to vote on it. It will influence my vote. Okay. So it looks like the vote is still saying mostly S tier. But I think enough A and B tier, it's actually, if you put the A and B tiers together, they're greater than. So I think that that should move Courage down to the A tier. I absolutely fucking hated this show. This is such a bad show. I, I hate it so much. <laughs> it's going down below F tier, so I don't have to look at it anymore. I hated the show so fucking much. I I, ab I fucking hated this so much. I, I Like, cropping that hurt me. And you're not even the one that's looking at the Google images right now. Remember How the devil that always showed his ass? Kids. Can we all agree that this is... I was going to say, can we all agree that this is an S-tier show? Easily an S-tier show. You want to know why? You want to know why that this is an S-tier show? It's not because... It's not because of how actual good the show was. It was because of how many hours was easily clocked while we were sick. If this show wasn't on when I was sick and I had to rewatch the same reruns of SpongeBob over and over and over again, being sick was miserable. But if, if Tom and Jerry was on, my 104 degree fever would go away. It, my, my day would just fly by. Yeah. No, I, I, think, I think Tom and Jerry, it's just a classic. I think, I think in, in terms of the most classic cartoon show, it's Tom and Jerry, right? For our generations, at least. Like when we think of what is the most classic cartoon show, I, I, think, I think it's hands down Tom and Jerry. All right, we need to start filling out the middle tiers so we can't just keep giving like the best at like S tier shows. So I think we're gonna have to give uh, go down a little bit and we're gonna have to do some absolute trash real quick. Looking back, dude, as as, as, a, as a child, I watched a, a, probably a larger amount of Johnny Bravo than I wanted to. 
But in reality, this show is actual trash. Like, it didn't make me mad. I feel like when I get into the D tier is when I start to get mad. He's a He was a straight sexual predator. Yep, and he was allowed on TV. I think Johnny has aged poorly. Do you guys want to put him lower because of the aging poorly? I'm down to. I'm down to say fuck it. Should we put him behind cow and chicken? Flapjack or chowder? I don't remember either of those shows. So if you guys want to vote on it, it needs to be a chat vote. Do you guys want to vote on chowder? I, I would I would turn on the show and I'd be like, this is this is stupid. And I would turn it off. So I never even gave it a chance. So I'm gonna let you guys vote on chowder. That's a solid B tier. Chowder's going low B tier, you say? So like over here, you want him like right there? I'll, I'll at least, I think that he at least doesn't deserve to be behind the top D's. Scooby-Doo. I mean, again, I'm trying to fill out the middle sections a little bit, okay? And I, I don't think that anyone's gonna say the Scooby-Doo was an S tier, man. Let's be fucking real here, dude. Classic or like all of Scooby-Doo? I don't remember anything other than classic. Real talk. Was there, what was, what was not classic Scooby-Doo? No way it's S? Listen, man, I like to be a mystery, okay? Okay, I'll let you guys vote. Never watched it. Damn, you guys are really saying that this is an A tier show? I've never watched it, but I never remember anyone talking that highly about it. All right, let's 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 start naming shows that you think would belong in the lower tiers. Because right now, all we're remembering is our favorites. Let's say some dog shit. Bob the Builder? Okay, we could talk about Bob the Builder for a second. Bob the Builder's going in F tier. And let me explain, and then you will all agree with me. I had trouble convincing my parents that I wanted to own pets. I always wanted a lot of pets. My, my mom never liked rodents, so hamsters, rats, mice, always out of the question. And at one point, I got in my mom's heartstrings. I don't know what the hell I did. I convinced her that I could get a frog. We went to the store, and they didn't have any frogs. But what they did have was a couple of tadpoles. And I had a show that I liked to watch at the time I had just discovered it called Bob the Builder. And so I named my tadpole Bob the Builder. And then a couple days later, my tadpole had been growing. And my mom said that we needed to change out the fish's water, the tadpole's water. And he was uh, in a little glass bowl, right? So you actually had to like transfer him to another bowl, change out the water, wash it out, transfer him back, right? We didn't have a filter because we didn't expect to have, you know, the, the, the fish tank. We didn't need like a fish tank for very long because you didn't become a frog. Well, when my mom turned around to go clean the bowl, I thought that it was a good idea to take Bob the Builder for a walk. <laughs> so it's a nightmare of a moment for me. I, I still get like flash sweats about this regularly that I, I, I made that mistake. I could never watch Bob the Builder again. So you should be an F tier, not Bob. It was trauma, okay? It was trauma. And let's be real here. At best, Bob the Builder is like fucking C tier, man. Totally spies. Think that this will be a very heavily differentiated opinioned show. I can literally see it in chat. <laughs> I can literally see it in chat right now. Is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Is everyone's... People are just doing their ABCs in chat right now. I liked this show for a time, but I feel like a lot of shows just did this show better. And so for that, I'm going to put it in the C tier. If it was on and, and there was nothing else to watch, I was excited to watch it, right? It wasn't like, I guess I'll settle for this while I eat my peanut butter and jelly sandwich and my carrots and my juice box. I see fruit punch flavor. In the market of Totally Spies, then there's only one other show that we immediately need to talk about. Little Kim Possible, baby. I didn't watch a lot of Kim Possible as a kid, but I can see the chat is very clearly passionate about it. And everyone that I know, everyone that I know was extremely was extremely passionate about the show. A everyone said it was that good. So I am willing if you guys are okay with it. Yeps and chat, smiley faces with us here. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that even without a vote. I don't even think it's necessary. That's mainly yep. yes. It definitely would have been as good. Not, not a lot, not a lot of uh, of opposition. There's some people in there. There's some people, but yeah, this it, it, it definitely seems like it it held up. So, cat dog. All right, we can do cat dog. I think cat dog is like the most C tier show I can think of. <laughs> that show was trash, but it could you could keep it on the TV. I can't think of a much more C tier show, a much more 
definitive C tier show. Do we agree that that this should be it? That this should be the category? The definition of is it cat dog or is it better? What about Veggie Tales? I mean, if you just want to toss something quickly into F tier, we can do that. SpongeBob, what you want to hit the classic right now? I don't know where the fuck SpongeBob should go, but I think that SpongeBob should be larger than every other image on here. The reasoning why I think I think SpongeBob, if it wasn't so fucking overplayed is the most S tier show. Still to this day, it is one of the best shows of all time. But the amount that you saw SpongeBob, I feel like oftentimes, let's talk about like age like 12, 11, 10, you'd get on and you'd be like, oh, it's the fucking Suds episode again? I don't wanna watch that. I would rather watch Totally Spies than the fucking Suds episode. I think there was supposed to be TTS. Yeah, subs are broken again today. <clears throat> Consulty with the newer and the older, just put him as the the whole list hiding behind it all. How fucking dare you spoil what I was gonna do? This is why chat participation is the worst fucking thing in the world. You motherfucker. You absolute piece of shit. Who was that? Who was that? Dwarf King. I need a ban on Dwarf King. <laughs> Billy and Mandy. B for Billy and Mandy. I think so too. I actually think so too. I, 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 I really do. I think that this show was like the go-to backup, you know? I don't know. It, uh, it, it, it just, I never, I never would choose to watch this unless everything else I hated. Talk about Fosters. I mean, you want to just put something in like, you know, I was going to say you want to put something in A tier, but is it an S tier show? I, I liked this show a lot as a kid. Do we have recess on the list? Let's add it. I think recess was very mid. B, we're all agreeing B. I'm going immediately B as well. That's gonna be a hard show to recognize on the list, but yeah, I, I think I think it was also a mid show. Very mid. I think there's a lot of them in there. You guys just want to name? Okay, let's let's name a bunch of mid shows. Uh, hey Arnold, definitely going in the cat dog tier. Definitely going in the cat dog tier. That's the show. I don't know. It was just always had like this depressing vibe. Like I would go to shows to kind of feel good, and Hey Arnold just always felt like it was. It was just like slow and I don't know. As a child, I always wanted, you know, I always wanted zippity zappity, you know, high octane. Just hit me with a million jokes over and over and over again. All right. Arthur, I don't remember a whole lot about, so I'll let chat vote on it. But I'm pretty sure this is a mid show. I'm feeling like it's super mid, but I'll let you guys vote. Yeah, it seems it seems like you guys are very, very uh, similar to what I thought. Hey Arnold, or, uh, or Arthur would be. I don't remember Total Drama Island. I don't know the show. Let me let me look it up. If I just include this, do you guys know? Again, I don't. I never watched the show. But if I if I just have this chick on screen, does that tell you? <laughs> Very swift A tier from chat. But again, I never. I I never. I I didn't even heard of it. You guys are mentioning it. I never even heard of it. Oh, we want to talk about a show that I remember as a kid. Yo, Franklin. Let's go! I fucking if love you that you guys love Franklin. Field. Hey, it's Franklin. Coming out to play. Yeah. Hey, it's Frank. Oh, God. I could just sing it for hours, man. That's an easy S tier show. This show, five-year-old me that loved Franklin would fight 11-year-old me that thinks that Avatar The Last Airbender was a better show. I don't, dude, this is, again, I don't know about how, if Franklin was like, okay, or like held up at all, like, or any of these, a lot of these like super old children's shows, like Bob the Builder could have just been like fucking racist as shit. I don't know. Um, but I'm just going off of what I remember as a kid and you know, what we know now as an adult. That's why Johnny Bravo is all the way down there. That guy's kind of a weirdo. You guys are all saying F. I don't even need to take a vote on this. I'm going to take a vote on it just so we can see how fast you guys write this F. You ready? Go. <laughs> Do you guys want Caillou behind Cow and Chicken as well? Or is it just good enough to go in F tier by itself? Next to Teen Titans Go. Okay, understandable. I'll, I'll put them so that they're the, the white of their borders touch, but awkwardly and not correctly. I mean, if you just want to drop something in S tier, we can just drop Samurai Jack up there, right? But like, I can't argue that this is S tier. I barely fucking watched this. Magic School Bus, I think, is exactly what I was thinking about going to. I think... Okay, here's my take. Here's, here's the take, and you guys aren't going to like it, okay? You guys aren't going to like it. I'm going to do the first ever. Check this out. Check this out. Hold on. Hold on. We can do this. It is in between S and A tier. And let me explain why. You watched it in school. And it ruined it. It would make it less cool. Right? 
It was at a, it was at a point in your life. That if you watch something in school, it became less cool. Because we can talk about something something else, right? We can talk about of something you watched in school all the time that people are naming in chat right now. Little Bill Nye. But I feel like you watched Bill Nye only in school. One of the chat of you never once seeked out to consume any Bill Nye outside of school. But because you only consumed this in school, that makes Bill Nye S tier in my opinion. Because it was like, oh, we're watching Bill Nye? That means that we're not going to have to do other things. Dragon Tales? Everyone's agreeing to Dragon Tales. It's not the worst thing in the world, but, like, it's gross. Nice. Dragon Tales was very sleeper. Uh, the idea of Dragon Tales was good, though, right? Like, when I thought about, oh, do I want to watch a show about a bunch of dragons? You bet your ass I do. It, it, was, it was not enough. Like, I don't know. I kind of wanted it to be almost like a Danny Phantom. <laughs> like... Just give me, give me some action, you know? Like, why does it have to just be, like, so happy-go-lucky and nothing else going on? Dude, Land Before Time. If anyone says the Land Before Time does not belong in S tier, was it the movie's favorite. good, show bad? I don't know if I remember the difference. I just I just wouldn't put it in S. Like, I would agree with A, but, like... Okay, but this is S my tier is... list, and I'm going to put it in S tier. Yeah, you can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm just here for discussion. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about Powerpuff Girls? I don't think it's S tier. I don't Way think it's S tier. Way before Land of Time. Like, this was one of my... Okay, favorites. this can't be the point of contention. This, this is not <laughs> going to be the point of contention for every single fucking take. It's it, 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 it's S tier because it's better than Land Before Time, okay? <laughs> I like Land Before Time. I only remember the movies. It was really fucking good, okay? Didn't they have, like, a crossover? If I put Powerpuff Girls in S tier, do we all promise not to compare every show in the future Lane Before Powerpuff Time? Powerpuff yeah. Girl, Professor Walsh. Everything would be S tier if we rated it that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is... I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end the stream. No SpongeBob? Yeah, we haven't done SpongeBob. Yeah, he's blind. Rocket Power is mid-tier? I couldn't agree with you more. Let's let's throw it in there. I, like, just dislike looking at this show. Like, I, I disliked just watching this show. Just muted. Like, watching this show muted, I was upset. And I'm going to put that in a D tier. <laughs> I, I hated the animation style. Just didn't... It, I, I very much disliked it. Okay, here's a show that you guys need to vote on. Because I can't. Because I was not allowed to watch the show as a kid. Why? <laughs> because this show would promote children rebelling. Oh, my God. Yeah. I was not allowed to watch Rugrats as a kid. Jesus. That's such a white family thing. <laughs> Honestly, Rugrats was like a really big part of my childhood, so that's why I would put it in S. Um, oh, it's definitely not S. But there's definitely other shows in my S tier that are way better, but it was just such a big part of my childhood. Like the fucking movie, Rugrats movie, holy fuck, I watched, so, I watched that so many times. Chat says B tier for Rugrats, and of course, if we're going to talk about Rugrats, we got to talk about All Grown Up. I agree that the show itself is F tier. I do. I agree. I agree. This was a dog shit show. I think that it touches D tier. And let me say this. Mm -hmm. Because the theme song was catchy as fuck. <laughs> Correct. Life of a Teenage Robot. Oh my God. I fucking forgot about that show, dude. I feel like I fondly remember it. I fucking loved that show as a kid. Holy fuck. I forgot that one existed. This is a lot of people going for A here. A lot of people going for A. Now, hear me out here. What if, but a lot of people seem to be very convinced. What if here, what if we do this? Where she's stepping on B tier, but is touching up to S tier like this. <laughs> Static shock. You want to put a show on S tier faster? Uh, I think, I think I am going to prop Avatar. Ooh, Putting it right here. Like totally Avatar spies. defined people's childhood, you know? I feel like yeah, static... and if Static Shock didn't get fucking canceled, it would have. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess I that could that see is that. that is a hundred percent. The only reason that Static Shock is not bigger on all of the motherfuckers in chat right now's list, they're saying, "What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here!" It's because it, it got it, because it didn't have enough episodes. That's true, I guess. It never had the opportunity mm -hmm, to be mm -hmm. the Avatar. Yeah, I agree with that. Dexter's mom. Uh, yeah, let's just talk about Dexter's mom. Let's <laughs> let's not just talk about Dexter's laugh. <laughs> Does she have a big dumpy? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the dog. Yeah, I know. Oh my I god. can't. I can't even show it. Oh my it. god. Yeah. Hold on. Did you like this show growing up? I loved Dexter's Did Lab you? growing up. I absolutely loved Dexter's Lab. <laughs> I fucking love Dexter's Lab. You seem like a kid that would have liked Dexter's oh, Lab. Oh yeah. 
This is my take on Dexter's lap. Sits in the A tier, touches the S tier. Any thoughts? <clears throat> All right, I got to pee real quick. You can okay. do a show if you want. Do you watch the Power Rangers? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But th th here's the thing with Power Rangers, though. Here's the thing. Here's, here's, okay, we're going to do Power Rangers <laughs> I really quick. You had to pee. I do. <laughs> I'm going to put Power Rangers here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put Power Rangers here. Mm hmm. How do we rate Power, Power Rangers, Rangers? There were so fucking many of them. This, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you. If you, if you wouldn't interrupt me, there's yeah. Power Rangers. Yeah. Any Why? questions? <laughs> because there were so many different ones. No, we're just kind of doing shows. We're doing all shows. It we don't need to. Do, we're saying we're doing <laughs> cartoons. Bill Nye up there. Yeah, Can we're saying we're doing cartoons, but also like, is this look like a standard? <laughs> does this look like a standard fucking tier list to you? All right, chat. I have a terrible childhood memory because of traumas. So if you guys want to do Pokemon, we got to do Digimon, right? It has to happen. <laughs> I told chat that you never watched Pokemon as a kid. I didn't watch a lot of it. So you wouldn't, I, I don't know where you would put it. Here, here, here's my but thing. Here's the I thing. feel like Pokemon is like fucking SpongeBob, you know? Wherever you put Pokemon, we put Digimon. I, I agree with that opinion that Pokemon is more than just a show. Because I feel like the games influenced it to be an S tier. Yeah, where Digimon shows influenced it to be an F tier. Or the the, the Digimon uh, games. Digimon games? Yeah, influenced to be in fucking F tier. Dude, <laughs> it was dog shit. They were, they were dog water games. They were not nearly as good as the Digimon games. No. No, we're saving Code Lyoko, by the way. Code Lyoko is going to be saved. <clears throat> we, we all know how good Code Lyoko is. Do you agree? Huh? You agree that Code Lyoko is that good? Yes. Okay. I I put Code Lyoko up there with Avatar. <sighs> Chat. Uh, <laughs> it didn't define my childhood, <laughs> but it's definitely up there. <laughs> you didn't. You gotta grab something. Gotta make something a ring. All right, Chad. Where would you say Drake and Josh was? I, I actually genuinely want to see what Chad thinks of Drake and Josh. I want to know your opinion. I really like Drake and Josh. Yeah, it was like very much a it. defining show for me as yeah. a kid. I feel like Drake and Josh just have... The show itself just has so many like iconic fucking things about it <laughs> that are still quoted to this day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah. it's one of those shows that just carries on with you, you know? I will say both, both main characters in the show, the actors have like gone on to live very weird lives that I would yeah. not have expected. <laughs> one of them becoming just like a David Dobrik vlog kid, and then <laughs> the other one becoming prison. to jail. <laughs> prison, yeah. Do we have to go all down all the Nickelodeon trail of shows? I mean, we can. Do we want to, chat? You guys want to go to Zoe 101? <laughs> Zoe 101 is C, maybe B. Okay, but how many of you watched Zoe 101 as like a guilty pleasure as a kid? It was, it was my a guilty, guilty pleasure. A guilty show. pleasure? Yeah, like I was feel like as a as a as a as a white as a white man, I was shamed for watching that and made fun mm. of for watching a a, a a teen love drama. But you didn't feel, feel like now. You didn't feel that way about Totally Spies though. I was Puff not. Girls? I don't think I was in a bullying scenario during that. I feel like mm. I feel like when when Zoe 101 came around, mm. it was that was more of like when you were shamed for doing specific things. I would say Zoe 101 is probably C tier for me. Ned's declassified. Oh, shit, I mean, that's dude. nasty, right? Yes. <laughs> I am so glad you agree with that. <laughs> I don't know if it lives up because I barely remember it, but God, I fucking love that as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we'll make this tiny little thing like the little block of... <laughs> the block of Nickelodeon. After we go down this little rabbit hole, we got to go down the Disney one. Like, I watched zero Disney shows as a kid, so I can't go... Wizards, Waverly Place, I Hannah wasn't allowed Montana. to watch Disney. Why? Hannah Montana, Wizard Lady Place, uh, Zach and like Zach and Cody. What? I never watched any wait, of them. Wait, why weren't you allowed? I don't know. You don't I, know? I, my parents never gave me an explanation. I was not allowed to go on the Disney Channel. How much do you guys want to go into live action? Because we can do <laughs> Fresh Prince and just put it in S two real quick. He's gonna be right here behind. All right, let's go back. Let's go back to cartoons. Let's go back to things that were animated. <laughs> Clone Wars. I never watched Clone Wars, so that's definitely a chat. That... All right. I feel like I'm running out of memories of cartoons. Right? I mean, but that's 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 what we just wanted to find here, was yeah. we wanted to just find the end. You know, and wherever the end was, if this was here, then 
if this is our final tier list is if we're coming to a close right now that's uh, a-okay man I, a lot of people are saying shows and they're not looking at what's on the list what about um you want to put teletubbies on there real quick and just curse it into f tier? Yeah. <laughs> i did not watch teenage mutant ninja turtles as a kid don't know why i have no no reasoning why i never watched it and why i never consumed it i'm assuming you guys wanted an s tier i know that every single person that watches it that watched it was very fond of it i'm okay with putting it in s tier no argument there okay so it does not seem like a lot of people are saying s tier so i will put it to a vote then i i i thought it was s tier and maybe that's just because i was best friends with magic Arpus fly for a while <laughs> you like it? <laughs> oh matt loved it that was matt's thing that's probably where i got most of my feelings of how good the show was was probably <laughs> strictly from matt it's weird it's weird how polls work on twitch mm. because as the stream's gone on, we've gone up in viewers very drastically compared to what we had at the beginning of the poll of the of the of the thing. But we have less people voting in the polls. <laughs> it's a weird thing. Yeah. It's just okay. Putting it between yeah, I understand. <laughs> These are assholes, man. All right. A lot of people saying Shallon Showdown. I don't remember it. Oh, I know what this is. I remember it. I don't remember it that well or how I feel about it, but I definitely remember it. Like the characters and shit. All right, I'll let you. I'll let you vote on it. Rate the show. Strong S or Andrew kills us. Andrew has no power here. I will unmod him. Is, is this Andrew's favorite? I guess. I don't know. He said he would Ryan. Okay. I guess it's S tier then. Wow. Avatar? You guys want to put Avatar? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Chat, where would you guys put Avatar The Last Airbender? What do you think? Where do you think Avatar The Last Airbender should go? C tier? F tier? Okay. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> agreed. Yeah. I think Avatar The Last Airbender is the F tier, but we should move it to the back. So that no one has to know that we even did it in the list. Bakugan? I mean, dude, we can we can do Bakugan. We definitely need to get Beyblade in there. So thank you for reminding me. But we can get Bakugan. There's Ew. no like, there's no good looking photos. Like it's all just a clusterfuck. I Wait, that that little white tiger thing. I had a toy of that growing up. Yeah, the the little thing you'd throw and it'd spin out. Yeah. Yeah, there, it was ass. I'm gonna put it literally all the way out here. Literally, it was just like. The, the whole Bakugan to me as a kid was literally just seeing like Yu-Gi-Oh and Beyblade and so many things taking off. And they're like, let's capitalize on this, but we need to be original in some way. So let's be so original that it's weird and it's stupid. <laughs> That's my opinion on Bakugan. And fuck you if you think differently. You're welcome to your opinion actually in reality. But also fuck you for comedic purposes. It was terrible. Beyblade it was, so was a bad. show? Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? You didn't watch Beyblade? Ooh, that's the joke. That's the, that's the joke. That's the joke. I played with the little toys, if that makes it any better. Okay, let's get a one in chat real quick. One in chat. See, look, it's only the toys. <laughs> one in chat, if if at any point in your time you ever smacked your elbow on something when letting it rip. <laughs> Mine was a metal bed frame. Did not play Beyblades for like two weeks. Beyblade show was essentially like, you know how on the top of every Beyblade is like a little animal? Mm -hmm. So they would rip the Beyblade into like an arena. That sometimes mm -hmm. was like an entire fucking city. Like it was just these weird ass arenas that made no sense most of the time. And then out of the Beyblade would come the animal. And they would have like a spiritual battle that was like whoever <laughs> was like in a closer bond with their Beyblade would win. It was what? awesome. It was so fucking good. It was easily S tier. I, I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it right here on top of uh, Power Rangers because we don't need to remember <laughs> that Power Rangers exists in here. As an animal lover, I think if if, if you liked animals, what Zabuma. The fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. What is that? Uh, okay, it's either you know it or you don't. Apparently, what the fuck? was so good. And if you don't think it's S tier chat, I want you to leave. I'm gonna put it like he's he's gonna be peeking out behind the S tier. What what was it about? Uh, that little guy lemur. Fuck. We don't have to rate it, but it. we're talking it. about kids animal shows. Does anyone forever. remember? It's gone. I can't get it back. Girl. I can't get it back. I can't click on it anymore. I can't. I can't click it on it anymore. I'm so sorry. It's back there. Is, it, it, the hell is wild thornberry? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, uh -huh. No, your first one was genuine. <laughs> no, anything with that animation style goes in F tier. I mean, chat. Where would you put it? Yeah, I'm gonna. Have, I'll let. Have, I'll let. I'll let you vote. vote on this, and I'll let it go up enough. Like if you vote S tier, it'll go C tier. Because <laughs> I can't take this animation style. That's probably why I didn't. Really it was. Watch it. it was overall a very stupid show. Oh, it didn't. Didn't start the poll. Sorry. 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 It didn't. Start the poll. It was overall a very stupid show, but I enjoyed it just because of how much animal information was in it. 
Was it like accurate or? I don't remember. I just remember it was a, there were a lot of animal stuff and like so there was an animal that could talk. I'm pretty sure, or like no, not that it could talk, Sounds but accurate, yeah. in the the human could like understand it in their head or whatever, and that's how they connected with all the other animals or something. I can't remember it, but Chad is saying C tier, <laughs> so that means it balances out to D tier. I just hate that animation style. Like Rugrats, mm -hmm. uh, Rugrats had it, and then what was the other show that had it? The uh, Rock is this Rocket Power? I couldn't stand any show with that kind of animation style. Fucked in, I hated it, man. Did you ever watch Jackie Chan Adventures? No, I didn't. What the fuck is that this? Was, this is a really good show. Was it? All right, it, rate yeah. it then. Rate Jackie Chan Adventures. Here's I, your poll. Go. I barely remember it. I'll but, put it on there. Um, I would say I was always happy to see it on. Hmm. Like it was, it was just there in my childhood for for a blip, and it was never played again. I feel like. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it because I'm running out of fucking room. I'm just gonna I'm I'm literally <laughs> you know what? It's gonna we're just gonna. Move it back. No, not that far back. Why did no? I didn't want to go all the way back. No, really sad that Sailor Moon's not here. That's because we haven't added it yet. Was that Sailor Moon? Was that a uh, child show? I definitely think child people watched it as a kid, similar to like Naruto and yeah. Dragon Ball Z. When when was it like released? Super? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's definitely old like that. I did not watch Sailor Moon. I feel like I watched Sailor Moon when I was older. Like I I glanced at some of it. So I'll let uh, another chat vote. Damn, people saying it's pretty mid. Sailor Moon was good, but unfortunately was embarrassed to watch it as a male. Is what somebody said. I get that. Hey, dude, the, the tier list is getting nice and filled out, man. Yu-Gi-Oh? I mean, if we just want to keep doing chat votes. I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh, everyone's going to say that's true, though, right? Yu-Gi-Oh's B? Wait, everyone's saying B. I have not seen any other take other than B. Okay, let's put it in B, then. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus, man. I think, dude, I think, I think, why does Avatar keep just, he just keeps, uh, just fine. You're bigger. You're bigger, buddy. It's okay. You, you're bigger. You're bigger now. Are you happy? You're covering up Danny. And now Danny's going to come over here, which is then going to make Teen Titans go over here, which is then going to make Ed Double D a little uncomfortable, which is going to spook the shit out of Jerry. He's going to run. Should we? Fuck you, Ang. Ha have you, uh, did you ever watch The Backyard again? That was a really fun show for me as a kid. I really loved Backyard Again. I feel like we probably missed a lot of really, really small. Oh, no. Ew, yuck. Gross. You never watched them? I know no. we're saving Code I Loco for last, kid, but dude. I have a PSA. Code Loco Their, Evolution. Their like, theme song got popular on like TikTok or something it, a, few, like, is, a year ago. Is this Teletubbies chat? Is this Teletubbies tier? I really like the Backyard Again, dude. <laughs> C tier, D tier. Okay, some people are saying different huh. things. All right, I'll let you guys vote then. I don't know what that is. We could do Lazy Town. Lazy Town was really big for me as a kid. I didn't watch it at all as a kid, but like the the humor transcended, I feel like, into yeah. teenage meme culture. It was just such a big show for me as a kid. Fuck, I love that show so much. Because I definitely think that like the, the memes held up, right? Some of yeah. the jokes, some of the goofs and the gaffs. Wonder Pets. <laughs> Wonder Pets. What the fuck is that? Yeah. That's a guinea pig, dude. Yeah. What they is that? They were superheroes. Oh my god. They were superheroes. It's, a, it's an anatomically correct guinea pig. Yeah. They were superheroes. That, that is would, so like, cute. It was actually okay. Here's here's my so here's cute. as a kid, my honest opinion, F tier. Really? Yes. It was it was it was trash because it just tried to follow in the footsteps of so many other shows that were all about animals. Hmm. But as an adult, looking back at the show, it is so fucking cute. It cannot get any, any, it, it cannot, it it's cannot go to F tier. It has to be at least D tier, maybe even C tier. It is so cute. You look at those, those photo right now. You look at that photo and you're not like, dang. If I was an adult and my kid, my like three-year-old kid was watching Wonder Pets, then I would not sit in the background and be like, this is kind of cute. This is adorable. Yeah, Johnny, Dude, did Johnny Avatar Pest. get bigger again? <laughs> oh, Why? Yeah, you're hiding some shit. Avatar just got bigger again. He just won't stop. <laughs> have you have you done Johnny Test yet? I can't remember. I don't think we have a Johnny Test. You think C tier? C tier? Yeah. I, I, I watched a little bit of Johnny Test, not a whole lot. And every single time that I watched it, I was excited to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I agree that it probably should just chill in C tier. Oh Dora's Dora's up there, man. Yeah. What'd oh yeah. Say? Oh yeah, we're going Dora the Explorer. <laughs> I'll, I'll do I'll I had Dora. so much fun watching that show. Right? Yeah. Dora's up there. I think I think Dora is a, is a, is high on the list. Really? I think a lot of people clown on it, but like, I don't know why Avatar just keeps getting bigger. It's really annoying. I don't think that Dora should be an F. I think that her cousin Diego should be an F, because goddamn, that was just like, oh, let's get a man to come on, come in and just jump on the craze that a woman created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I genuinely think I genuinely think that like, 
personally, as a kid, I wanted to hate Dora. Like, to my friends, you know, Dora, stupid, dumb. But then I watched it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I <laughs> like Dora. Another Dora's Dora. guilty pleasure. Yeah. I, I like, <laughs> do, like, dude, I love Dora. It was so good. But if we're going to do Dora, then you got to do Diego. Put him over the F tier Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Diego, a little cringe, man. Dude, what the hell is <laughs> Eng? <laughs> Buddy! So I have a question. Out of sure. all of those Nickelodeon shows, like the iCar, I know negative Zoe amounts of people Jackie have Josh, watched it. Victorious, all that shit. Which would you say is the top? Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh? Drake and Josh, not a thousand percent. Really? Oh, yeah, a million percent. Not even, not even a question. I remember iCarly had a website that I would uh, go on regularly. Zach Bell. Yeah? Yeah, I enjoyed it so much. Yeah? Because they made it like the show that they do. Like, they would post little clips and shit. Yeah, I would go on there so often. <laughs> I think as a kid, I, I, I liked iCarly a lot. iCarly is one of yeah. the top shows for me. Like, non-cartoon childhood shows, iCarly might be the top for me. Like, non-cartoon. Really? Mm-hmm. Like that's how much it it, I, it influenced my life. <laughs> I think I, here's here's my thing though is I think I Carly had the SpongeBob effect for me, where when it first was coming out I was really really into it, but the more it reran the more I hated yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't hold up. Yeah. Gibby Whereas hold, Drake Gibby and, holds up. <laughs> yeah. Gibby holds up and her older brother Spencer. holds up. Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> Only but two everybody characters in the else, show. No. <laughs> Forgettable. Like the just in in terms of comedy, mm -hmm. like in terms of comedy. Like, and Sam, I think Sam, like, held up in terms of, like, you know, being a friend and, like, serious moments and things like that. But no, the, the, my, the, the, the comedy, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it. My favorite thing about the show is how all the characters grew. Like, the last few episodes of that fucking show with Freddie, Carly, and Sam, like, all going in, like, the love triangle and whatnot. The way that their characters grew, I honestly loved. Like, they just ended up being friends and shit. Like, I really enjoyed that part of the show but the beginning of the show was is really hard to watch freddy's mom is fucking <laughs> wonderful too <laughs> true okay we, we do we do have to do american dragon that's the one that what I the hell is american think. dragon you, like i would put that why does he have a skateboard <laughs> is it just i'm a cool kid therefore wouldn't skateboard he, wouldn't he like ride in like the dragon would come out or something i feel like the skateboard was involved with the dragon somehow i don't know but <laughs> all right chat let's see he could turn into a dragon because he was half dragon. Did he have to ride his skateboard to turn into the dragon, though? I just, I That's just, what Hannah's <laughs> saying. Did he have to, I just did he have remember to... him riding it, and then he, like, zooms off into a dragon. <laughs> his dog could talk. <laughs> but listen, dude. I, I don't know where the fuck we're putting this guy. So uh, we're going to have to start making a little bit of room. Everybody starts scooching over. He was just a typical skater. Typical bad boy, Ooh, you know? His theme song was so good. Yeah. His theme song holds up to this day. Juniper Lee? It's Juniper Lee. Chat. But I think it was good. You're up. Again, Disney shows, man, never watched. Same thing as... Wait, Juniper Lee was the same thing as American Dragon, but as a girl protagonist? She can turn into a dragon? No, dragons. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> then how is it like American yeah, Dragon? Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> wow, 27 people voted on this. No one even knows this show. So I'm going to put it... I'm going to make it really small because no one knows it. And it's gonna, just going to go in the beats here, like over here. <laughs> All right, I think we're coming up to the end. I think it's time to bring in the final monster. Ew, what is that thing he's holding? I don't remember. There That's his dog! I don't remember there being a fucking dog. What the fuck? Oh, no! <laughs> Just her foreheads. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the tier list. Ladies and gentlemen, that's where it goes. The final shows put in there. Code Layoko at the tippy top. If you've never seen it, then you need to go watch it because that's a show that still holds up. 22? <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Sorry, this is... Look, it's his, his eyeballs. Is that kid? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, that's a good tier list, man. I think that's pretty good. 